as uh, far as the stuff on my voice goes, um, I just to tell the people who say I should keep it and this is the original voice. Wait, I, you know, I actually my first videos were um, were with my original voice, and uh, I you can call the phone number there and uh, and I'll answer in my real voice. Uh, people say I'm a, I'm a coward. I'm afraid of the CIA maybe and stuff like that. I don't know, and they can get to you anyway. Well, I obviously know that. I mean, my company is a legal entity. Um, they 26th of July production so if you know if they wanted to find me they need only contact the IRS in any case uh, I you know it's really yeah the image doesn't matter it's 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 not the man uh, the voice I, I do get a lot of people that say but they're turned off by the voice and just simply won't watch of course that level of ignorance is uh, is kind of frowned upon by me uh, but I did receive a, a really good constructive criticism of it and uh, you know, I, I have no problem with with letting you hear my real voice. It, you know, it just just call me sometime. I uh, generally will answer between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, but the the purpose of this one was I, I received a, a a very very well worded uh, email, and and I you know I couldn't have done better. It's it's clear, directly to the point, and uh, and it matters a lot that uh, that we point this out. Um, I'll keep the person who sent an anonymous for no particular reason. <laughs> and it says, John, so we are six weeks off from the midterm elections, less than two months to go. It was clear that Bush was getting his ass handed to him. Gas prices were soaring, his ineptitude glaring, his approval ratings tanking below Hoover, and more and more civilians in Iraq as big grease spots on the ground. So I've been reading through the American papers, corporate and independent, and I see the same pattern as with the last presidential election when similar circumstances existed. Gas prices are now over 80 cents cheaper in my town, and we haven't uh, even done our ethanol changeover. Ethanol had taken the blame at the beginning of the summer as to why prices were going to be so high. NBC airs their propaganda 9-11, and now all the papers are talking about how Clinton is to blame for 9-11. This is brilliant marketing. Folks are eating it up, even here on YouTube, which appears to be more liberal-leaning than most. Cheap gas. Smokescreen propaganda in the usual blame game fashion towards a guy who has been out of office for five fucking years. Thwarted terrorist attacks, which now force airline customers to buy the $10 food on the plane because they won't give you food anymore. Why are people buying this? Why can't they see the same pattern over and over again and not clue in? The Democrats attempted rebuttal in flagging around the intelligence reports that we have more terrorism now rather than less is a big fat duh and as effectual as a floppy fish against a charging bear. I can't possibly be the only one who sees this chess game just repeating over and over again, can I? Uh, no, you're not. I, you know, and I, it's pure apathy on my behalf uh, that I, you know, well, I, I guess I just at one point just chose not to address that I, I I guess I took it for granted well people aren't falling for that it just you know sometimes I'm naive and uh, you know but they were really I sincerely thank you it, it, that really uh was very very clear um, and, and another thing was uh, the Al Qaeda link in Iraq which which I mean really drove Bush into the ground uh, just just weeks ago was uh, was interesting and 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 it really I mean the credibility just went through the fucking floor and then uh, and that is totally uh, I mean under the bridge people don't I mean it goes without saying the WMD issue was 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 bullshit the I mean there's lots of uh, oh but by the way to to uh, to uh, blow my own horn here uh, I don't know if everybody's went back and watched all my videos but I did actually release a compilation of all the absence of link between Al Zarqari and uh, Saddam Hussein, uh, 48 hours before the Senate report was released, and I did another video vindicated that pointed that out, and I was actually uh, pretty proud of that. It was pretty cool. It was a coincidence, you know, but it was it was pretty cool. Uh, but that you know that was another thing that, that people are, are just, uh, eh, you know, hey, it, you see the news and then you watch uh, Everybody Loves Raymond or whatever it is you watch. I, I don't watch TV, but um, you know, yeah, I. It, it is. It, mass media is, is so... I mean, it makes you wonder. I mean, are there liberal news channels? Are there channels that are, that are independent? Um, or, or, or are these people's 
attention spans themselves. I, I mean, it, it's hard to fault a journalist on this uh, simply because, you know, if uh, journalists generally get on a subject and they stick to it and, and they follow it and they may leave it aside for a while, but if another development comes along, they'll bring it back in full force. But this simply isn't happening in our, our mass media. And uh, it's, it's something that really needs to be thought about. I mean, I really want everybody to sit back and think about that for a minute. Uh, events that are happening just weeks earlier are... are ignored and, and then people like Bill Clinton who wasn't a bad president he actually he actually committed uh, a lot more uh, effort into finding Osama bin Laden for many years before Bush was in office and uh, that level of commitment was uh, was forsaken when uh, when Bush came into office so you know that that evidence alone can speak for itself as, as to what priority was and what it took to make it a priority of the Bush administration which has also been laid aside uh, hell, Osama bin Laden, he's, he's out there. He's got typhoid, apparently, but I don't buy that. That's stupid. Um, all right, and they'll never find him. Otherwise, we won't have a face of terror anymore, uh, even though al-Qaeda uh, has estimates rate them as, as from, you know, at, at their zenith, uh, 7,000 members. And uh, currently, there's believed to be only about 200 of the, uh, of the real al-Qaeda terrorists left. So uh, all the terrorists... Organizations you have out there now are, uh, they're not splinter groups, they're not, they have nothing to, they're just terrorist groups that, that have been spawned from our war on terror. So anyway, uh, good night, uh, the, the whole voice thing, I hope that's settled, um, and hey man, I may switch it up and change it for you again, I don't know, that doesn't matter, it's, uh, I, hey, if I want my words to be honest, I must represent them with an honest voice. Um, uh, so. Good night. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping up. Thank you for the suggestions. And, uh, and I'm going to continue.